Alright guys, we're back. I just needed a little restroom break. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be oh, careful. Kate. I don't like you. You're annoying. Stop looking at us like they're awkward. I don't want this. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already. Right. Javi, come on. Just give us a minute, pal. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't it's know what to do. Follow your heart. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore. Right? Thanks, man. <laughs> I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on. Back off, Gabe. Good luck. Ugh, oh my god. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy. Is that fat face? It's fat face. Fuck off, fat face. I mean, I'm not one to talk. I'm a thick boy myself, but still. Looks like Bob's it's on Bob. Him. I'll distract him away from the door and meet me inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about <clears throat> staying cool. I've done this before, Javi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them Oof. the rest of your life. Are you foreshadowing you something right now, Javi? So, sorry if you can hear that in the background. It's yeah. snow plow. It actually snowed. It's literally April 27th, and it's still snowing. How can you trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? I trust her. I trust her enough for right now. And that's what's important. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. Other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad. Trustworthy people trust other people. The ones who don't trust anybody, those are the ones who screw you over. It's psych 101. What's that mean? Guess it doesn't mean anything anymore. Hey, so psychology can be a very nice tool in the apocalypse. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Going in or what? <laughs> Open. Don't even sit there and tell me Ava that they have a little point. fucking thing that will detect if you're bringing guns out. Don't even sit there and tell me that. Is this like the courthouse or what? Mail house, courthouse, whatever you want to call it. It's down My here. My hands off the keyboard, by the way. So I swear to God, if they throw the me another through cop the door. command. Locked. No time to look for a key either. <clears throat> Don't make too much noise. I have to do this the hard way. Ooh, that's really loud. Oh, that's so loud. It 
It's so loud. Just eat up. Clem is. My bat. Put these in your bag. Viper. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? It's not right. The uncle nephew one two punch. Yeah, we do. Oh god. <gasps> oh, thank God. It's you. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh boy. Someone's coming. Eh. I hate, I hate when they do the stupid <laughs> keyboard commands. I the arrow keys, because my hands are nowhere near that. Is that Beard Man? Hack off, Beard Man. You d What Freeze. are you doing, Gabe? Get away from me! Gabe, what? Oh, you fucker! Fuck you and your hipster ass beard. Javi, you're bleeding. I wasn't very smart, okay? Gabe. Oh my god. You've been better. Not dead yet. Clem. I'm so Clem sorry. Line. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Ouchie. Okay, but let's be quick. <sighs> Why would you leave the knife on the ground? Can they really hit targets over Why would you tie him up either Not or something? Easy. God, Some guys are so stupid. Javi, it's probably best if Lindor <clears throat> doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? That'd be neat. Damn it, Lingard. Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, well, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. <sighs> anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. 
That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. <laughs> I can't promise it'll look great once it before? heals. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually, in much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle oh and thread for that. Another. Clem. You okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know oh it's boy. a thing. I've traveled with women before and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it? I just don't understand. You're growing up. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing and then things change, but it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about Don't yourself right now. <laughs> we need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. Ooh, wait, we need to... Let's slap him. <sighs> Wake up. Talk to me. He can't. Yeah, thing. Wow, that guy is really out of uh, it. Uh, how about water? Water usually wakes up people, right? Oh my god, the mouse is so fucked right now. What the hell? Alright, let's have a peek here. Cody, hmm, not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go <laughs> over well. We don't need them, so no put them back. Trying to make an honest living, damn it. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. The question is, can we wake can we wake up Mr. Doctor Man? All I need is a cup and water, and it should do it. Here we go. Just pills. Ugh, and better not start with no hiccups right now. <sighs> Wake up. Talk to me. Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard. Dr. Lingard. Can you hear me? <sighs> Does he look like he can hear you? No, but it never hurts the trick. I think that's all we can really choose. Yeah, looks like it. I was hoping that we could wake him up with like a cup of water or something, but. Hey, this is just what you're looking for. They help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. Sorry for the little lag freezes. I don't know what the fuck my computer's think doing. I remember how to you do think, this. Clem? Boy, if you don't. Okay, hold still. Okay. I'm gonna have to do something, aren't I? Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Jane said I was more of a mom than she'd oh, ever no, been. no, we're flashing back to... No! Not a Jane flashback. I killed Kenny for you, damn it. This stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have Hal's to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. 
Get that smell out of there once and for all. I don't know. It could get a bit lonely. <laughs> Never forget. Ugh. This is the <clears throat> kind of shit Kenny was capable of. Carver deserved what was coming to him, of course, but that's just. Yeah, he deserved it. Brutal. I don't know how you could even watch that. Uh, it was really nice. It must have been brutal. And the sounds he must have made. Ugh. It's just so fucked up. He did so many bad things to so many people. I wanted to see him suffer for it. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Sweep and stand. Get off of me. Oh, shit. That was too close. Tool. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, I was pretty worried about you back there, but I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled, like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. Learn from the best and then she kills herself? What a dumb way to kill her. That was such a stupid way to kill her off. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. You're just getting Ooh. away. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. And you're family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. And then you kill yourself. What a selfish ass person. Kenny just died in a fucking car accident I saw. You know, I went and watched others play this and I saw that Kenny just died in a car accident. But then Clementine blames herself. But I'm probably sure she blames herself for this. Oh my god, you can't win. You can't win in the Walking Dead universe. Are we showing what happens after Clem got kicked out? there all right all right it's just me what the 
hell do you want? I'm really glad I found you. Clementine, I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. Tell me he's okay. Please. He's as good as he can be, which isn't great. Look, it's not much, but here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. I failed him. It's my fault. I just couldn't do nothing. If there was a chance he could survive. It's not your fault. You did what any good mother would do. At least you have something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. <clears throat> you're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. I could maybe find some others. Town or something. We all have to fit in somewhere, right? Just because it didn't work out with us doesn't mean you won't find happiness somewhere else. Don't stop looking. For me... Staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. They're out there. And when you do, life will be worth living again. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back. Before anyone notices I'm gone. Those good people you mentioned before? The ones you said would be out there? Well, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are definitely good people there. I'm sure they'll take you in. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. What a gentleman. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Glenn. Oh. You can't hold grudges against people. It's not how... Nothing gets done then. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. I owe you one. Add it to the pile. Yeah, so you know, that means you should stay with us. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's. He's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. 
When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up, took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. 